Uh, hello everyone. Uh, tonight I thought about doing a simple spaceship, something that you can use in a space shooter maybe. Or any game that doesn't require a high poly mesh. Um, yeah, let's begin. Um, for this tutorial you probably need a cube blocker. Cube blocker is a, an add-on for um, blender that um, you can create a mesh on top of another mesh um, it works like this in object mode you have to be in object mode shift a kill blocker and you can add a mesh just like this you don't have to scale it or you can if you want but uh, you can add a cylinder a sphere or um, a cube Okay, so let's select this. Let's scale it on the z-axis, S Z. Make it about this thick, then green would be the y-axis. So S Y. Think about maybe five, six meters right there. And let's uh, make it wider. S X. So if you're a beginner, if you learn these colors, X would be red, Y green, and Z it's blue. Uh, that's all you need to know. So uh, then let's uh, push. Uh, let's press seven on on the keypad and go on top view. Then uh, go to X-ray view and press tab to go into edit mode click outside the mesh to unselect it then um, first let's add a, a loop right here control R left click right click then select the uh, unselect the uh, uh, vertices just by clicking outside them the object and then press B and box select uh, if you don't know the x-ray view will allow you to select anything that's behind of uh, what you can see so uh, i'm gonna go back to top view by pressing seven um, then press x uh, and delete vertices it'll delete half of it. Now go back into object mode by pressing tab and with the whole thing selected go to the wrench and add a modifier uh, that would be mirror if I can see it. Okay and it'll add uh, the other half uh, don't apply it. Now toggle back to normal view and if you want to see the uh, shadows and whatnot, go into the viewport shading menu and click shadow, toggle shadow, cavity, and the depth of field. Don't take shadow more than a quarter of the way up. And uh, take ridge and valley all the way up. It looks almost like it's rendered this way. Yeah, what you can hear is my computer going, not my video card. Anyway, go back into edit mode. Let's add a couple of loops. Control R and scroll your mouse wheel upwards or forward and add about uh, I don't know about three of them left click and then right click now press three to go to um, face mode select the back face let's make sure that's the back face press one yeah that's the front because you, you gotta be in the front uh, you don't you don't want to select the front one 
on uh, towards the front because it's gonna screw you up when you press the uh, when you're gonna toggle between views and on the keypad so uh, let's uh, bring it out E to extrude it take it out and uh, press 2 and select this edge then shift space and then G or you can just choose it from here move and drag it back bring this one up a little bit too Okay, press 3 on the keyboard, S, Z, oops, S, Z, and I'm going to scale it down right here, and let's bring it back, I didn't like how it looked like, okay, control 3, on the keypad let's bring it down doesn't have to be perfect tab to go into object mode shift a cube blocker and let's add a cube right here Tab to go into edit mode, select the top and the bottom face of this new, newly created uh, uh, shape and press E to extrude. Now if it does this, go back to individual, uh, go down, go up here and uh, select individual faces, E. Now you see I got a problem here, I think I got a mesh inside of a mesh. Yeah, because I extruded the other way around. But I didn't want them as high. So let's do this again. And then this is the x-axis, so SX. I'm going to select this top one and bring it up. SX again E to extrude it again SX again and E to extrude it again maybe a little bit more and drag it out let's bring it out to uh, go into edge mode, select this edge, bring it back, let's see what happens if we uh, bevel at control B, yeah, that's not too bad, let's bring this edge forward, that's pretty, nah, it's decent. Let's select this uh, three to go into face mode. Let's select this three faces. If I can. If you press if you press uh, dot or period on your keypad, it'll center it to the selection. 
So E to extrude. And then S to scale the whole thing. Okay, let's select this metal face, E, extrude, and scale it just a little bit. Then E to extrude again. Scale it up, extrude it again, extrude it again, scale it down, and extrude it again. Then extrude it again, scale it up, oops, that was my mistake, scale it up, and extrude it again. Then extrude it again, scale it down. Now, if you want to leave it like this, that's fine, or you can press inset. Make it smaller, E, then enter, and then just drag it inside. And just, you can just delete it if, uh, by X and then uh, faces. So, it's not gonna show up on this side because this is a whole different object. We're gonna have to um, mirror this, this object. So assuming that this is done, which I might, I might do a, another thing on it. Let's go to side view by pressing three, control three, because it's on the other side. And make sure uh, we have this object selected and go into object mode. And uh, Shift A and add a cube right here. Make it about this big. Just like that. Now, shift space and move it inside. Shift D to duplicate, duplicate it, and then right click so it'll be right on uh, top of the other one, and bring it down. Let's see. Yeah, select both of them, and bring them up and out so it doesn't interfere with uh, the other edges. With both of them selected, uh, press Control J to join them. Now go into uh, edit mode and with a mouse on them, press P, selection. No, actually, my mistake. Press L to select them on both of them and then P, selection. And then press Tab to go back into object mode and just click on them. And now it, they're they're by themselves. They it's a it's a whole new object. Now select the uh, this mesh and let's add a modifier to it. Um, from the wrench, add a modifier, boolean and select this eyedropper and click on the those two uh, uh, cubes and click apply now click on the two cubes again and press x to delete them and you'll have two booleans holes in this mesh now click on this mesh Let's select top view by pressing 7 on the keypad. And add a modifier. 
mirror and from here select the eyedropper and click on the spaceship and it'll add it on the other side okay Okay, let's do the front. Select the spaceship itself. Go into uh, edit mode by pressing tab. And three to select faces, select this face. And press E to extrude it. Let's extrude this, uh, this much. Two to select the uh, edges, select this edge, control B to bevel it. We well, can adjust it from here, but sometimes I don't have any locks, so I'm just gonna press two, select this face and drag it in. I'm not gonna put any too many faces on. I could uh, add more loops here, but I'm not. Just gonna leave it like that. Um And uh, now, let's turn on clipping and let's go into face mode and select this edge, uh, this face I mean, and bring it out. Okay, let's select this uh, face. E, enter, and let's bring it out. Actually, let's bring it out here. Let's then E, enter again. And then drag it out just a little bit. Then two to select edges, select this edge. and drag it with this square. Let's go into top view by pressing seven. Just like that, uh, maybe a little. All right, three to go into face mode. Extrude E. Let's bring it in. That's too much. Let's see if we can rotate this. RZ. And rotate it inside. And then E again. I'm going to rotate it a little more. RE. RZ, I'm sorry. Let's see. Yeah. E. And scale the whole thing, the whole face. I believe that uh, the wings or these tails are too small for this spaceship so I'm going to go into object mode and select them and just scale them up. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better. Alright, let's select this object. Go into edit mode and select this face and uh, let's scale it on the Y axis. Go back into object mode, select this tails and bring them up. Yeah, that looks a lot better.
Okay, let's make a cabin. Actually, let's apply all the... Let's make a couple of more booleans actually here. So let's go into top view, 7 on the keypad. Shift A. Let's add a cube. Shift D to duplicate it, right click and bring it out. Now select uh, the spaceship. Actually, I forgot to join them. Control J. Uh, now select the spaceship and uh, let's apply a boolean add modifier boolean then click the eyedropper and select these two cubes then click apply then select the two cubes again and click delete I mean press the X and delete them Going to uh, select the, uh, oops, I moved it. Select the uh, spaceship and go back into edit mode with tab. Let's add one more loop right here. Left click, drag it, left up, click, left click again. Uh, three to go in face mode. Let's select these faces, bring them up. Maybe a little more. I want to make this uh, side smaller. Oops. I'm going to click outside and I'm going to select all the faces on this side. And then scale Z, S, Z. Just like that. Seven for top view. Press K to bring the knife tool in and cut, make it as straight as you can. Enter, then cut again, K from here to here. And here enter then to select this two lines control B and bevel not too much then press 3 E to extrude enter and bring them down As you see, you'll have a problem right here. So what I'll do, I'll just scale them in. Let's do a couple of lines here. Knife tool. Enter to select this line control B just a little bit and then three to go into face mode and you see you got uh, this still going on let's go into local normal E to extrude and just extrude it but not too much and then S to scale it. Okay, that's that be it. 
Okay, if you have uh, issues with uh, artifacts, go into edit mode, select these faces, and click control or press control T, and it'll triangulate them for you. All right, let's make a let's make a cabin. Let's apply the modifiers. Okay, now it's a whole one whole object. Shift A. Let's add a cube. Say probably about this big. Go into edit mode, select the back face, and scale it to the y axis. SY. Go into line mode and select global. Bring it out. I'm gonna go to object mode and bring it back a little bit. Then go back into edit mode and select this line and bring it out. Now, if you make it, uh, I think, at least in my opinion, if you make the cabin, the cockpit back, back here smaller, it'll look more aggressive. Uh, at least that's what I think. Now, let's select the top three top and uh, let's scale it in the X axis, SX, not too much. Okay, and uh, let's go to the side view, control three, and let's add a few loops. Control R, uh, three should be enough. Let's bevel those, control B. Let's extrude them. individual press alt e extrude individual faces all right now uh, let's select all these faces three select all the faces would be the windows alt e extrude individual faces enter and then s to scale and then e again enter oh actually i'm gonna do e and then just bring them inside just a little bit. Now let's go into um, object mode and select the spaceship itself. Go back into edit mode and Let's bring the, these two faces. Actually, no, let's go bring this line forward. It's like this, and then click, uh, press sh uh, Control B and bevel, just like that. And now go into line mode again, select this line on top and bring it down. 
so now it's got some kind of face now let's do the back so let's select this uh, three select these two faces in the back extrude scale on the z-axis sz control one to see from behind bring it down I don't know if that looks okay let me let me select these two lines two edges and bring them up and maybe go on to face mode again and scale on the x-axis sx yeah I'm not sure that looks kind of like a Volkswagen Beetle you don't know which one is the front or the back so <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe just bring them in yeah, that would be fine like that but we need to put uh, the reactors or the jets right here so press 7 to go on top view and I guess let's add uh, yeah let's add two cylinders right there um, shift right click let's add one right here and shift a cylinder X or X90 enter let's scale it S uh, right about there that size let's bring it up so I'm gonna flatten that a little bit SZ and scale it down a little bit S <clears throat> now I don't know what shape uh, you, you can make any shape you want but I'll see what I can come up with E extrude scale extrude extrude scale oops extrude scale extrude extrude scale e to extrude s to scale right, i'm gonna do e to extrude s to scale E to extrude S to scale E to extrude S to scale and I'm just gonna delete that face I don't see the uh, purpose to have it. <coughs> I'm gonna extrude it again and scale it. And delete it again. Okay. Yeah, I don't like it, so... Um... I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna hide it with H. Yeah, I'm gonna go into top view. And go into x ray mode.
press B. I'm gonna select all this, actually one and then B. And drag this out. L P selection and go back into object mode and click on it and now they're independent and by the way you can uh, change the point of origin right here set origin you can set it to whatever I think this way we can uh, alt unhide alt H unhide the object and maybe scale it a little bit and I can uh, put it right in the on the wing here somewhere Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah. I'm not sure if I uh, did the right thing to, to flatten it down a little bit. Maybe I can just bring it back up L and scale Z and bring it the way it was. So, we're going to go into object mode. Well, actually, let's separate this uh, jet engine from the uh, spaceship. And uh, that way we can mirror it. So, press L to select the jet. And uh, then press P, selection. Then press tab and click on the selection. Now, from the wrench, modifier, mirror, and already did it. But if it if it doesn't show up like this, you can uh, just select this uh, eyedropper and select the spaceship to mirror on the other side of the spaceship of the axis. So here, all I have to do would probably uh, is just uh, make an intake for the uh, some kind of intake for the air or just to make it look better maybe so let's go into top view on seven and let's add a cube okay yeah, about this big Okay, go into edit mode and uh, three face select and scale on the Z. I think it would have been easier just uh, go into edge mode but with two and select this edge and just bring it down. Now while in the edge mode, select these two edges, control B and bevel. Let's add a couple more loops. That yeah, should be enough. Three to select this edge and scale it on the uh, X axis, SX. See extruded. Scale it. X 
extrude it, scale it, then extrude it again, scale, extrude inside, and delete it. And do the same thing in the back. And delete the bottom as well. Go into top view by pressing 7. K for the knife. And drag some uh, diagonal lines. Just like so. Now two for edge mode and select these edges. Control B bevel. Not too much. E to extrude, extrude them down. Three edge mode and select these faces. E to extrude. Scale them down on this. Three to go in face mode and. Uh, Let's select this, no, actually two to go into line mode and let's select these edges. And control B to bevel. E to extrude. Oops, I forgot to select this. Two edges. Control B to a bevel. Three to go in face mode. E to extrude, enter, and then drag them down. And that would be it, guys. But uh, let's put some materials on it just to make it uh, look uh, halfway decent. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select the whole thing. Okay, the whole thing is one piece now. And yeah, let's apply some materials to it and see what happens. Oh, let's go into um, let's go into UV editing. A for all, U to unwrap, and let's open an image. Let's do this one. A to select all, S 0.01. Go to shading, shift A, texture, image texture, and choose the texture. It look, actually looks so oh, pretty cool black. So I might go with some kind of dark color. Let's go back into UV editing, A4 
if it doesn't show up just go here and uh, choose uh, texture so let's see what colors we got now let's make it uh let's make it this dark gray select all a G and take it into here now gray goes well with orange so let's select all the <coughs> excuse me let's select all the windows now let's make them orange G and grab them and drop, drop them now if you hold your mouse on on top of the this object since since they objects since they were separate objects it'll, it'll still select them as separate so you can just hold the mouse and select them and let's grab this and um i don't know make it whatever color you want Now we're gonna make this a lighter color. Yeah, maybe. Nah, I don't. I don't know. Let's go with the darker color. Let's go with black. Uh, black it's better so you can also select faces by shift clicking or you can simply just uh, go on top view and then go uh, in x-ray mode uh, and then press C and circle select them. Oh, I'm not in face mode. And then uh, <clears throat> apply the color that you like. Yeah, I think that color goes better with this color but you know it will be up to you you can put some uh, you can make the cap a different color the cabin or whatever you want to do so, so guys if you like uh, this tutorial subscribe if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down if you liked it give me a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.